YouTube, Topaz Ace back for another daily review, and this one is to that Kanye West Champions All Round and Round. And this is allegedly the first single off of that cruel winner that has constantly been pushed back and we really haven't heard anything about until this track. The follow up to Cruel Summer, in which I was highly critical of that Cruel Summer because one, they was trying to do too much, and two, the quality of music just wasn't there. And by looking at this track, man, you can obviously see that they're kind of following into that same format, but I do feel as though this track really works because of how organized it is you feel me like because all of the verses are really brief and such man so all of the people that's really not needed to be on this joint they really wasn't there long enough to tear down the track but yet a bunch of people had some core quality moments man like Kanye I definitely enjoyed his flow and delivery on this beat but then when he said that he never wants to say anything wrong but yet it's not like him to say nothing at all that was pretty solid but in the end Kanye really got to realize, if you ain't got nothing to say, don't say nothing at all. Because all too often, all of these white people from Ellen to the MTV Awards keep giving him all of the time that he wants to continue to embarrass himself and black people in front of the nation, man. They're just doing this to laugh at you. That hook by Travis Scott, man, was solid. That definitely sets it off with that production, man. Quite honestly, I believe that is why this track is going to work the most. I definitely enjoyed Big Sean's verse, even though he only had one key highlight moment in his bars. Saying how these people around him are secretly enemies as if he can't see through their secret identities, like that was kind of dope. I really didn't like enjoy 2 Chainz verse you dig. Honestly, I wanted to skip past it, but he did have one key highlight where he's talking about his chicks is bagging other chicks and those chicks is bagging other chicks and it all becomes a snowball effect. That was cool of a ball that actually made me paying attention to his verse worthwhile. But besides that, a bunch of forgettable things like say, Yo Gotti's verse really did not need to be on here. They gave Gucci Mane two slots and he didn't do that good on either. Thankfully, they're very brief and all of that. But I do understand he has a huge following and everybody's happy to see him out of jail and such right now. And that may help push and promote this song, but in the end, not a good look music-wise. And then Designer and Quavo were ultimately forgettable as well, man. But yet the way that they properly formatted it, the excellent beat, the pretty solid hook to go on top of it, man, and then the moments that each MC kinda had, man, I definitely can see a lot of success with this as promoted as a single. A track I definitely recommend you to go ahead and peep out, but this concludes today's review, and now we're gonna jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Vito Beats before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from downloadpass.com. that Drake has went past a billion views just in the United States, man, for that Views album. And it's going to continue to increase and such, man, because that album isn't that old yet. I'm thinking it may reach a billion, two hundred million when it's all said and done type stuff, man, but we'll see. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about going the extra mile because this is an important thing for you to find your own success. Because there's a lot of people out here who wants to rap. There's a lot of people out there that's doing the bare basics in order to become a success in rap, but not everybody's going the extra mile. Not everybody's going that extra mile to learn how to work things online, how to actually organize and make a website, how to actually use that website and promote it to build up your brand, how to use things like Google AdWords in order to promote themselves. Nobody really doing that all the way, you feel me? If you go the extra mile that no one else is going, then you give yourself an edge advantage and hip-hop is such a competitive market right now because everybody and their mama thinks they can rap right about now you kind of have to do something outside the norm in order to gain any attention amongst all of this competition that you have so going that extra mile is going to help you in the long run no matter what you do i hope you enjoyed the show you can follow me at twitter up there and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.